Good afternoon and welcome. Good afternoon and welcome to Erina Oval here on the beautiful Central Coast. Sunday afternoon footy doesn't get much better than that. 2.30 kickoff and we are good to go here. On your screen you are seeing in the dark blue with the white and red trim. That is the home side, the Erina Eagles. They'll be taking on their opponents today in the white with the red V, very similar to St George. That's Woi Woi there. So quickly running through the two team lists for you. And we'll just go through actual numbers here, not positions because there are a few changes. For Erina, it's Sheen's. In the one, the wingers, Drummond in two and Marson in five. In the centres, it's Carlisle and Wara in three and four. The halves are Downey and Russell. Up front with the props, Burrell and O'Brien. However, Mitchell Browning will be starting in number 15. The hooker is Byrne and the second row is McFadden in 11, Munro in 12 and Lawrence in 13. The rest of that bench, Sawaris in the 14, Stephen in 17 and Kane Winyard in number 18 for Woi Woi. At the back, despite playing in number four, it's Toby Marks. The wingers are Walsh and also Pearson. In the centres, it's Fawcett. We also have Gowan and Mate in the halves. And, of course, Tom Reid up front alongside Jake Shearer. The hooker is Hyde. The back row of Ryan Finnegan and McDermott. And on the bench, it's Alapade, Shepard, Jones and McGillicuddy along with Sonta. So... Plenty to be expecting in this one. Woi Woi presently sitting in at third position. Erina trailing not too far behind. They are in fourth. Oh, just God. one point separates the two of them. 14 to 13 and it's Erina who will get us underway here. A big match for both sides to try and push their claims to get further up the ladder. That's taken down now from Woi Woi and they'll go expansive early. Nice play here. That comes through the number four. That's Marks who joined into the back line. They picked up big metres from the first play. 30 metres out straight away. They'll push that on now to their big prop who keeps bundling into them. And it's not a bad run whatsoever there. He attracts two defenders. Nearly draws a penalty as well. He'll come out of dummy half. Away to the 13. That's McDermott. He shuffled it on across there to Ryan. Ryan, he's met by Wara. A couple other defenders as well. It was Drummond who jammed in off the wing. Now come short side. And that's a good first set. Kicking early in this one as well. Comes back and Sheens. He picks it up pretty easily. Bit of a goose step. Back toward the centre of the field. And Woi Woi, they're going to try and camp them down in their own territory to start this one. So it's a very good up-tempo start, but they've gone a little too much over the top here. Commentator's curse. That'll be a penalty to Erina. And it lets them off the hook after a very, very up-tempo first set here from Woi Woi. We do have a bit of update as well there. That big man that took the hit up earlier in the set there for Woi Woi, the number 22, that's Sonta. So he actually gets the start in this one, not starting from the bench. He'll get to rip in in the early stages here as we get the tap and away we go for Erina. That'll be first tackle held on halfway. So good field position. We'll see what they can do with it. This is Burrell who keeps working up the middle. He was enormous last week in that 32-24 victory over Tookley. Played nearly the entire match. Burn comes to the left-hand side to Russell who turns it back on the inside to Wara. And those two combined brilliantly last week. Both ended up getting doubles. Burn. Gives it away, and that's now Munro. He keeps pushing forward. Good metres so far in this set. Starting to work into an attacking position. They'll come left-hand side through Russell. Kicks early, but a leg is stuck out. That's played at. He'll pick it up. Can they put him into touch, though? No, goes to ground very quickly. That'll be held. Smart play in the end there. That was Pearson that dived on the ball. In fact, the number 16, Jones. That'll be tackle number two. Around about 10 metres in from this right-hand touchline here, closest to the commentary position. That's the number 13, McDermott, who moved to four. They'll come short side once again here. Big fend into the face of Mark Russell. He tasted palm. And they caught 41 metres out. Come back to the centre of the field through Gowans. And then Gowans offers it over there to Shearer, who goes straight and hard. 
two men in it. That's third man below the knees. And also that's a cannonball tackle there. So as you can hear in the referee's audio, another player coming in below the knees there and chopping him off. It was Browning. So both sides trading penalties to start this one. And Woi Woi are now in quite a good position. They'll start this set from around about 40 metres out from the opposition territory. And they'll cut out Ryan and then go back toward the middle and it's Saunter in the end who saunters into the line. He's picked off by Browning. He was the man responsible for giving away the penalty. That's a good little run from Hyde. Hyde then links up with his halfback. That was Mate and Mate went wide now. That's with Marks. He tried to put on a bit of movement and just get around the outside of them. He plays the ball. Coming back to the middle of the field. Now just go for a simple dummy half scoot and reevaluate things. Looking back for the middle once again. Here's McDermott. McDermott offers it up to his prop forward. That's Shearer. And Shearer keeps cutting it forward. Takes two of them to put him to ground. He still picks up a couple of metres post contact. Very slow play the ball as well. Hyde at a dummy half. Feigns to go left. Ends up giving it to the right with Gowans. Gowans links up with Ryan, and he kept pushing forward. That'll be the last tackle, though, roughly 10 metres out, 15 metres in for the right-hand touch line. Hyde gives it away, back to the middle there, and Shearer. Well, he won't even get a chance to budge over because that was ruled forward, so we will have a change over there. So both sides putting a bit of pressure on in these early exchanges, but unable to come up with points so far. But Woi Woi, they finished this in a pretty good position. Now force Erina to come out of their own end here. It's a good charge to start with from Drummond. Of course, they've got these big wingers, Erina, and they do use them quite frequently. I move it away here. That's Byrne linking up on that right-hand side with Browning. And he's put to ground. They've got a couple of Vega Beavers there in the middle looking for a hit up themselves, but they'll go for a dummy half scoot instead. And in the end, he's picked off by both Finnegan and, of course, the halfback as well, Mate. Coming to the right-hand side, Burrell linked up. With a charging, I think that's Wara out there as well. Coming in for a bit of work, the centre. Byrne comes to the left and decides to put it on the left boot. Kicking it back down into the territory there. And that's picked up by Toby Marks. Marks marks it, as you could say. And he's picked off himself by Byrne and also Mark Russell. They go for a quick run out of dummy half. It's Pearson. Picks up a good, nice little 10 metres up through the centre channel. And it's really an arm wrestle to start with this one. Speaking of arms, Browning nearly got caught there. His wing was wrapped up, and they'll move this one up to the 40-meter line. 10 meters short of halfway. Very slow play. The boy is a bit sick and sorry after the contact there. It was a good shot, too. Put on Jimmy Walsh. He's still feeling the effects of it. Trainer now attending to him. And they're caught just short of the halfway line here. Hyde goes to the left-hand side. And they'll put a kick through Mate. It goes all the way down. Keith's bouncing an awkward bounce for Sheens too. He did well in the end. Stopped off the left foot on a dime. Got away from a couple of them. Dancing like John Travolta. He kept going. But now he's lost the ball. Well, it looks so promising to start with for Sheens. But loose handling is going to cost them here. They're not in a good position either. Plenty of opportunity for Woiwoi here to put on a nice full set of six in a dangerous position. And of course, if you're just wondering where these two sides are sitting on the ladder and you've just joined us, James Preston here with you in commentary. Erina in the dark blue are presently sitting fifth on the ladder. They've had four wins, five losses and a draw for 13 points. And then we also have a look at Woi Woi, who are third with five wins and five losses. Just the one extra point. Real logjam other than the top two sides that are in this one. Wyong and the entrance. Anyway, here is Woi Woi. We push it forward. Right about 10 metres out. From their opposition line, Shearer, he carted it up. It's a very slow play ball. We've had quite a few of these to start this match. It's a good shot put on too from Byrne, and it has hurt him. Little hooker driving in and getting underneath the ribs. You can just see him stretching it out there. He's not feeling too good at the moment. Big Jake Shearer. Now bring out the magical sponge and everything should be back in order for him. Recalibrate the ribs. And ready to go once again. Hyde, a little dummy, and show and go. He nearly got all the way to the line. Just caught short in the end. Now look to push it out the back here. Nearly went behind the player itself. That was McDermott who had to turn and twist and then grab it that way. Hyde wants a quick play the ball. He'll attack the centre of the field. A long cutout pass. That's a Sonta. Sonta 
It's like George Rowe style. Does a bit of a pivot, turns around, finds another man. It ends up being his halfback who puts a pretty good kick in himself. Sheens, can he get out of there? No, just caught around. And in the end, it was great chase from the man who kicked it himself, Blake Matte, the halfback. That's a pretty good set in the end from Woi Woi. They'll get another chance to get more possession back here from the dropout. That's even more pressure that they'll put on Erina here to try and get first points in this match. Around about six or seven minutes gone in this one. Right on the dot for that 2.30 kickoff. So looking forward to seeing who can get first points on the board here at Erina Oval. As that one is taken by Gowans and then he offers it to Shearer. Shearer just goes straight and hard. It takes three of them to put him to ground. Hyde at a dummy half. Could have been an infringement from the man who played the ball, then taking out one of the markers, but referee says play on. They came to the left-hand side, and it was through Finnegan. They'll keep attacking that channel. Got away from one of them. Saunter still going. He's a real handful. He always takes a couple to put him to ground. Hyde back to the middle. That came to Mate. Mate, a long floating pass out to his half partner, Gowans, who turned it back on the inside of Jones. And Jones is caught centre of the field. Bit of extra attention as he played it too. Hyde dummy to the right, went left. They were quick to it. Read it and shut it down. This will be the last tackle. Hyde once again. He's dangerous. He's constantly lurking. And he found a runner on that occasion. It was Scott Gowans, the 5 8. He looks really sharp at a dummy half. Every time he picks up the ball, Chris Hyde, he's asking questions. And on this occasion, he found an answer. And the form of that was Scott Gowans. Went in for the first try. And it'll be Woi Woi who lead this one four points to nil with a kick to come from pretty much right in front. Of course, this match is being brought to you by Bar TV. You can make sure to hop across to the Facebook page as well. Like us on there, simply B-A-R TV. Plenty of grassroots rugby league coverage all across the state. But is there any place better than the beautiful central coast when it's sunny like this? Wonderful conditions, barely a breeze in the air as well. And Erina. They will be looking to try and make it two wins in a row and just push further up. I mean, they can go to third position on the ladder, which is huge given they started last week in seventh. It's a very congested table at the moment. Purely Wyong and the entrants who are the pace setters at this point in time. This is a test for them nonetheless. Woi Woi presently sitting in third. And it'll be that man to take the kick who's been so damaging to start this first half. Always looking for just a sniff out of dummy half is Chris Hyde. And he has the chance to take it from four to six right in front. Strikes it very nicely. Drills it, in fact. And that will be six points to nil. And just to update you on the second grade results as well, well, it was a really fiery one in that one. Plenty of tensions erupted in it. Several players sent from the field, a couple of all in brawls. And the end score was Woi Woi getting it 24 points to eight. Plenty of tension that. And that was a beautiful spiral kick to get us back underway here. But it's well taken in the end from that man who just slotted the conversion, Chris Hyde. And he offered it to one of his very eager forwards to go forward. In fact, that was Shearer. And he's going to say that he's dropped that in the play the ball. So... They'll let the pressure right off here, Woi Woi. They've just scored points, had the potential to just keep pushing the issue, getting upfield and then placing the pressure back on Erina and make them having to play from behind. But instead, they'll offer an opportunity very early in this one. Literally the tackle after scoring points. So a good chance here for Erina. We saw them put on plenty of points down this left-hand side as well. Wara got a double last week. Russell linked with him quite nicely. Munro as well. We weren't expecting him, but he had a nice little left boot on him the second row. So they'll come this left-hand side through Russell away to Lawrence, who tried to draw in one, but they just held on to him. It was the 5'8 and the try scorer Gowans. Here's Wara out of dummy half. Off the left foot, then the right, straightens and tries to find a little gap. He's caught by two of them. Byrne waits at dummy half. Goes for a short pass there. Disguised it. Looked like he was going to Russell, but in the end, found Burrell. A very impressive young prop as well. Byrne out the back. Finds Russell. They'll keep going to that right-hand side. He linked up with Munro. But Munro was going nowhere. It was good first contact on him. They'll keep pressing down that right-hand side. Downey! Well, he found a gap for him, but he just couldn't hold on to the ball. 
It was a well-disguised pass. It looked like he was going to go to the winger, played short, and it actually opened up a bit of a hole, but he just couldn't keep his hands on it. Enterprising play from Erina, but a bit unlucky on that occasion. And woi woi, they'll be breathing a sigh of relief, particularly Jake Shearer, the prop that lost it when he was playing the ball. Six points to Neil in this one. Roughly 10 minutes gone. We don't have a clock ourselves here at the ground, so it'll be intermittent updates just using my little iPhone here for you. And I can tell you now, it's not a new iPhone, so hopefully we're keeping with the time quite well. That is a good tackle. They'll push him all the way back. And I'll say he didn't quite get into the in goal, but he certainly didn't go 10 metres forward either. So they'll tell him to go back toward the try line, play that ball. You can see Erin up there, very keen to camp them down here. That's a very poor pass. Can they put the pressure on? Usually we see teams stop and pause when the ball hits the ground. Not on that occasion. Erin were keen to get onto it. They go for a little dummy half scoot. There's three defenders, so he's not going too far whatsoever, the Woi Woi player. They come to the left-hand side. Turned back on the inside from McDermott. And he found Sonta. Went over the top of one, but couldn't get rid of the other two defenders. Hyde bounced off one. Came away to the right. Losing the footing there was Reese Ryan. And they really haven't gone too far in this set. They'll play it 29 metres out on the last. They need a big kick. It's not a bad connection whatsoever. And it's into the sun as well, but it's well taken. Back there from, I think that's Marson. And Marson keeps pushing forward. And he'll start the set in a pretty good position for them. 35 metres out. They'll link up with another one of these big back wingers here. That was Drummond. So plenty of size in that back line. Wara as well, another big player there. They'll come away to Burrell. Burrell tries to put on some late footwork, got rid of one defender. But another two came across. Plenty of extra attention as well around the ball. Probably lucky not to be penalised. And there's an old mousetrap play. You don't see that too often. Byrne went one side and then Wara picked it up and went short side. Byrne back to the middle. Burrell once again looking for work. He offered it across there to Munro. Calls a four, but definitely wasn't. And that was directly in line with our position here. That'll be the last tackle. Burn away to Russell. Russell puts it up into the air. No pressure on him at present, so it was just a bit too deep there, the kick from Russell. Wara was coming, but he couldn't quite get there in time. It was well taken in the end from Toby Marks. Now push it away now. This is Brody Finnegan coming in for some work, despite being a second row. He got back there nice and quick. Now move it away. Comes to the other wing, and now this is Jimmy Walsh. So they're just using their backs to get out of their danger zone at this point in time. No sign of Hyde in this set so far. It's been all Matei, who has hopped into dummy half and shifted around at this point in time. And now Hyde will pop in there, pushing it back toward the centre. He links up with McDermott, who stepped off the right, beat one defender, and another two came and got him. Now put him on his back, just short of the 40-metre line, last tackle, centre of the field. They'll go left-hand side. Decent little kick put away, and they'll find some open space. Bounces twice for Sheens, bounces around him, in fact. He then links up with Marson. Marson, a bulldozing effort. Got over the top of one and nearly poked his nose through. They caught centre of the field. 35 out. Good little run here as well. Picking up some nice quick metres. And they've got a retreating defensive line. It was a good run from Lawrence. Lawrence plays it to Byrne. Byrne comes to the right-hand side. Burrell tries to get away from one. Links up. Risky pass away to Wara. But Wara nearly gets out of a tackle. It was well done. In the end there from the number five. That was Pearson. Russell giving it away to Burrell. Burrell steps off the right. He engages. That's high there. And there's a bit of a slap and attack at the wrist as well. Very angry play there in the form of Tom Reid. Last tackle. Downey puts the kick toward the sideline. Doesn't want that to go out in the full. In the end, it's a beautiful kick. In fact, it won't go over the dead. Sorry, the sideline there. Just stopped on a dime. But it's a pretty good set overall. They've camped them into this back left-hand side of the field. Good finish to the set there from Downey. Now run out of dummy half. That's good metres. Picked up two from Jimmy Walsh, the winger. And he's caught by a couple of them. Put on his back. One of those defenders was McFadden around the legs. Now keep going down that short left-hand side. And they're picking up decent metres at the moment, so why not? Hyde waits at dummy half. Links up with Mate. Mate finds Shearer, and Shearer kept charging into them. He tries to find an offload, but smashed to ground in the end. That was a good tackle over the top from Carlisle. Kicking early in this one. Only Sheen's back there, taking advantage of the fact the winger hadn't dropped. But Sheen's is onto it pretty quickly. Tries to find a gap across field and then straightens. But he's caught by Hyde. Another defender over the top. That was McDermott. Slow play the ball as well. Goes for a bit of a dummy half scoot down the short side. Feigned to go back to the centre. 
Picked up some decent metres there, Marson. Here's Byrne, linking up with a strong charge from Drummond. He was full steam ahead. Try and stop me, he said. Byrne from dummy half, linking up with Burrell. Gets through plenty of work, this young bloke. He's a great prop. And he works it into the opposition territory now. Byrne comes to the left-hand side. A short ball away to, I think that might be Browning, who broke out of one tackle. Has taken the prop and also the try score of Gowans. In fact, that was Munro. Nice charge from the second rower. Last tackle, 30 metres out, 15 metres in from the left-hand touchline. Byrne simply pots it back into the in-goal area. And it sits up on a point. So Marks has to play it. A good little step, but he's picked up well and driven back. That's a great tackle in the end. Wonderful stuff from Aaron. It was a great chase from Byrne and co. I think it was Russell that got the initial contact. Got him around the hips, picked him up and drove him back. He would have banked a Marks getting out of there with that fancy footwork he's got, but it was a wonderful chase. Goal line drop had to come and a chance for Aaron to get back into this one. Just a quick time check for you as well. We've had 18 minutes of play in this one. So still plenty of time to put points on the board here for Erina and for Warrior for that matter. Six points to Neil. Stay behind. Here at Erina Oval. James Preston with Stay you for on. Bar TV. And Erina looking to make it back-to-back -back victories here. Having won against Tookley last week, 32 points to 24. Here's Browning. Charging back into the defensive line. They'll start this from tackle one, 30 metres out. Boom, comes to the... Centre of the field. Links up with Downey. And Downey offered it away to one of his forwards. That was Burrell. And it was a dominant tackle in the end. They pushed him back onto his back. Here's Byrne. Linking up with Munro. You've had both Munro and Lawrence altering positions in this one. They got a late offload away. He'll say that's good to go. Burrell steps back off the right. He looks to get an offload himself. And he's caught pretty close to the try line in the end. Around about two metres out. Options both sides of the play the ball for Byrne. But it was a very slow play of the ball for that matter. They were grabbing onto the jumper. They'll get a whole new set of six to start with and just a bit of time to think about what they want to do. And hear the referee's audio there as well if you're listening online. Just saying there's a bit of extra attention in that one. He has to release him. Come to the right-hand side through Downey and Downey links up with Browning. And McDermott catches him over the top. Burn goes out the back. Downey linking up with his half partner, Russell. Flat ball away to Lawrence. That looked like to be high contact, and that's exactly what will be ruled. No, 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 no. They tried to go for a quick tap, but you can't do that inside the 10-metre area. So Byrne will be asked to come back and play that once again. They certainly didn't miss him on that occasion. A slapping hand right across the face there, and he doesn't look too good at the moment getting back to his feet. So we'll see if he does stay out there. A little sore and sorry at the moment. And Byrne is trying to just play... A bit of silly buggers here. Feigning the tap and then going again and trying to catch them offside once more. Now tap, and that's the freshman on the field. That's O'Byrne. And O'Byrne keeps going. Nearly pushed beyond the vertical there, or horizontal, should I say. Plenty of extra attention in the play of the ball too. So that's a welcome to the field for O'Byrne. Downey steps off the right. Steps off the right again and keeps going. Fancy footwork. Tried to find a bit of a gap. But there was none opening. He's caught. Two metres short of the goal line. Byrne. Short side play, puts on a dummy and then tries to go himself. And he can't be any further out than about 30 centimetres. I come to the back here. Downey spreads it to the right. Links up with Russell. Russell, well, they stepped up to try and get the intercept. It was enough to put him off in the end. And that attempt was missed by Fawcett, but it forced all the pressure on Carlisle, who dropped it. Here's Walsh now at a dummy half. He keeps running up there, so the pressure valve released on Woi Woi. Consecutive sets with penalties and goal line dropouts, but they just couldn't find the points in the end there, Erina. He just releases it for Woi Woi. Here's Hyde out of dummy half. Linking up with Shearer. He's done plenty of work in these opening exchanges. Picks up some good metres. Retreating defensive line, so Hyde decides to attack. He nearly linked up with Fawcett, who was coming through late. Does a leapfrog. Out of dummy half. And now they'll link up here with Marks, the fullback, despite wearing four. Got away from another one. They came again and got him around the legs. Hyde, thought to go back to the middle. Ended up linking up on the left with his halfback. There's a decent kick put over the top from Mate, but it's well taken there in the end from Marson. So they'll change over possession here. Come back to the centre of the field. Sheens 
He's got a nice strong left foot step and he hits the line hard, the full back, despite not being the biggest bloke on the field. And that's what they need though. They do need a couple of those big boppers to come in. That's a good charge itself. It took a couple of defenders from Woi Woi, including Campbell Shepard, who's now onto the field, to stop him. Drummond came for some work too, the winger. And I'm, not, I'm honestly not sure he's actually dropped that there. I think he was struggling to get up and sort of slamming the football on the ground, but it didn't seem to actually release itself from his palm. So quite unlucky there, Drummond. He takes exception to what Reid is saying to him as well. We saw plenty of fire in the second grade match. Perhaps that might have just fired up the boys in the first grade side. Wasn't happy at all there, Drummond. So we'll look to see if there's any further exchanges with Tom Reid here. The number eight for Woi Woi. He's still mouthing off. Bit of rumbling in the referee's audio there. Now come to this right-hand side through Shepard. It's fresh on the field, and if anything, that's probably also a knock-on, but he just held on to it. So unlucky there, Erina. And Wara is fired up. He picks him up and keeps driving him back. Big tackle on Toby Marks, who came in to help out. In fact, that was Pearson. Now go back to the middle of the field here. That's Shepard again. More pressure on this Erina defensive line. But so far, they're holding firm. Hyde goes to the left. Mate. Looks to link up with another runner. He found Finnegan. Finnegan couldn't find his support player. That'll be a knock on. And just like that, Aaron will survive. We've had roughly 24 minutes of play in this one. So 16 minutes still to go in the first half here at Aaron Oval. As I mentioned before, beautiful conditions, very sunny. Not even a slight hint of a breeze. And it's Woi Woi presently leading six points to nil. James Preston here with you in commentary for Bar TV as Erina win the scrum in that dark blue strip with the white and red trim. And Marson, he takes it from the scrum win. They'll come to this left-hand side. Wari's got good footwork and nearly got away from a couple of them. They came again, including Gowan. And it was also Jones over the top. Here's Lawrence. Tried to spin out of the tackle and find a support player with an offload, but they wrapped up the ball quite nicely. Sawaris is now onto the field, and he gave a hospital pass there. It was more so Burrell trying to link up with his forward teammate. And Sawaris waits a dummy half. This one's a better one from him. He links up with Steven, who's also onto the field. So prop rotation has occurred here. For Erina, Russell, he's got great footwork as we know. He's also a skillful player, chipped over the top, didn't get the bounce though. But enterprising play from Mark Russell. Perhaps not what was needed, having not had a great deal of possession recently, but nonetheless, nearly paid off for him. Woi Woi pick it up here though. They'll now have a chance to come out of their own area. Hyde links up with Fawcett. And Fawcett put on a bit of a shimmy, and he was met... By some stern defence there. Come back to the middle. McDermott offers it back on the inside to Reed. I'm sure Drummond would like to have a shot at him after having a bit of a disagreement right about two or three minutes ago when he lost the ball. And he'll certainly be quite happy about that. Slow play the ball from Reed. Kicking out a dummy half is Hyde. It's a good bounce too for the Woi Woi side. It'll pick up a number 20. Once it hit the deck, Sheens is forced to bring it back from deep in his own territory. He slipped. Got up to work go again, though. He's done reasonably well in the end here, Sheens. So he'll be caught around about 15 metres out from his own line. They've all got him back, Erina, so they're certainly keen for a bit more work. That looked to be high contact, and it will be ruled as such. And it's once again on that man, Drummond. So he was already a bit fiery before, and if they keep hitting him in the head, certainly that's going to turn into something a little bit more than being a bit fiery. Penalty to Erina, and... Marky Russell, well, he'll have a look toward the sideline here. Bit of a shank off the boot. And that one finds touch just short of the 40-metre line on his own side of halfway. Erin are looking for their first points in this one. Drummond, he'll tap and go. He's fired up this man. He runs straight at the 5 8 from the try scorer. That was Scott Gowans. He tried to go over the top of him. Sawaris, away to Russell. Russell then links up with Stephen, and he keeps going about five metres, backpedalling into the Marin Wood style. He's caught around 42 metres out from the opposition line. Sawaris 
Waits a dummy half. Comes short side to Russell. Russell away to Lawrence. Put out the left arm. Fended off. And also went for a bit of a step. But there was no getting away from both Gowans. And that man who's still holding on to him. Probably lucky not to give away a penalty was Reed. Suarez gives it to Burrell. Burrell had players in support. And he held it out just long enough to ensure that a couple of those players took a dummy. And he nearly went all the way through. Suarez goes to the right. Downey cut out ball. He links up with Carlisle. And Carlisle couldn't get away from them. He tried to cut back on the inside. He's caught. Now play the ball. Coming back to the centre field. Downey, left foot kick. Crossed the face of the goal line. It was well read from Pearson, who got all the way back there. And Wara made a good one-on-one -on -one tackle. But it's smart read on the Woi Woi winger. And he'll save them on that occasion. This is a good run out of a dangerous territory too. That was good stuff from Matt Jones. They'll come back toward the middle now, so they're doing quite well to get out of their own danger zone at this point in time. Holding here. Another three. good run on that occasion. And that was the number 11, Ryan. And coming back to the middle of the field. It'll take three Hang defenders on. to put him to ground on this occasion. A go through Mate, who Go kicks on. early once again. He's done that quite a bit in this match so far, kicking on the fourth tackle, taking advantage of not having both of the wingers back there. Jeez, that's a big shot too. Fullback on fullback. Marks hammered Sheens. Drove in underneath the ribs and really sent the head rocking back. And they're caught around about 30 metres out from their own line. Carlisle goes for a bit of a scoot out of dummy half. Still looking to push forward and try and get over that halfway line. They do on this tackle. It's a good run from Obian too. He left the halfback, Mate, sprawling in his wake. A bit of extra attention as he plays it. They'll come center of the field. Downey away to Stephen. Stephen props off the left foot, straightens up, and then hits the hit line. And hits it pretty hard. Suarez goes to the right. Downey once again looking to apply another kick here. Along the ground, but I'll say he's been hit late on that one. Ill discipline in this run from Woi Woi. They don't need to have any of that. They're presently leading. In fact, he's going to say it's high. Not so much sure about the yeah, know, that point of contact. It certainly seemed to be late. Yeah. Yeah. You can just hear Chris Hyde having a bit of a chat with the referee as well, saying, look, we don't get any of that. It would be nice to have some of those 50-50s. Ultimately, it does come down to a flip of the coin. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you won't. That's Reese Ryan there as well. He's just feeling a little bit of strain on the legs. He's all good now, and he's gone back into the defensive line, and Suarez will tap and go, so they won't w bother about kicking for touch here. And they'll go for another hit up through O'Byrne. He'll play the ball, and he's milking that one on that occasion. Suarez away to Munro. Munro went straight and hard. Lifted the leg there from Gowans, trying to slow his progress. But he'll be caught 10 metres out from the opposition line. Suarez, dummies right, goes left. Very slow ball in the end it was to Lawrence. And not a good pass overall. Put him under heaps of pressure. Now able to get up in the face and cause an error. So got to have quicker service out of dummy half on that occasion there, Suarez. Scoreline is six points to nil. Woi Woi leading Erina. Roughly about nine minutes remaining in this one. Low scoring first half to start with. Of course, the second grade fixture was won by Woi Woi, 24 points to eight. Number of send offs, couple of all in brawls as well. So it's been a fiery afternoon here at Erina. Closest we've had so far is a bit of an altercation between Reed for Woi Woi, the big prop, and the big winger on this left hand side, Drummond. And there was big contact there as well. And he's not in a good way whatsoever. I think that might be Carlisle that's down at the moment. We hope he's all right because you could hear the contact from here. And he has barely moved since. Of course, he's now got to his haunches, but there was a while where he just wasn't moving. Trainer just attending to him at this point in time.
Of course, these two sides last met as well in round five. On that occasion, it was Woi Woi who got the chocolates, 24 points to four. In terms of their last matches, they were both last start winners. Erina beat Tukli 32 points to 24. And for Woi Woi, it was a 34 to 16 victory against Orimba. We're back underway now. So everything seems to have worked out reasonably well there for the Erina defender. <laughs> But not for the rest of the Erinner defenders on this tackle. That'll be a penalty. They're all offside, says the referee. Only had about two minutes to try and organise that defensive line too, and somehow they still managed to find themselves offside. A fine touch. Around about 40 metres out from the opposition line here in Hyde. Taps and goes, gives it to Mate. Mate finds Reed. Reed keeps pushing forward, and it's Munro along with Stephen over the top. That put him to ground. Marcus Square. Go, one. And Hyde comes down this right-hand channel, links with Gowans, the try scorer, and Gowans goes away. Good shot put on Ryan. Now, I love that. It was Wara who jammed in underneath the ribs and popped the ball out. Wonderful shot from the centre, who was electric last week. Picked up a double. That's a great shot on Reese Ryan, of course, who himself was around about five minutes ago down on his haunches. Fair few errors in this one so far. Neither side really getting any sort of true dominance over the other. And there's not a great deal of time remaining in this first half either. So if Erin don't want to square things up, now is as good a time as any with this ball from a decent opportunity. And I thought that was going to be a win against the feed. I didn't see anything wrong with it personally. It seemed to be fed reasonably well. It was just well picked off from the number 15, Campbell Shepherd. They'll go again here. And we'll have another practice at this one. So let's go again. Third time's the charm for scrum feet. We'll see if Russell can make it three from three in terms of having to reset it. We'll escape with just the two. So they maintain possession from the scrum this time here, Erina. And it's Drummond who's been very fired up ever since that confrontation with Reed about 10 minutes ago. He's come in looking for work, and he's run very hard. And they're all offside, according to the referee. Could have probably even been for high contact as well. A bit of a slap across the face in that one. And they'll just march themselves back upfield once again here, Erina. Russell to put in a nice big kick. Right about five minutes left in this first half, so a chance to put on points here. They'll start the set from 40 metres out. And you can see there, Kyle will throwing it back in field, so he's fine now. Bit of a concern for him not too long ago. This is Stephen who carts it forward. It's a good tackle from two of them, including Shepard. Sawaris comes to the left-hand side and links with Russell. Russell then finds Munro. Munro keeps going for them. He's pretty much stayed in the lock forward position on this occasion. They've put Lawrence out on this left edge. Sawaris away to Russell. Deep at a Downey. Downey keeps the shift going. Sheen's running at pace, put on a dummy and nearly went through them. It's always dangerous when a player is at full pelt. And they just make the opposition sit on their haunches for a second and try and take advantage of a retreating defensive line. Sawaris waits a dummy half. Had numbers back in the middle, but went away to Downey on that right-hand side. He found Sheens, and Sheens tried to get an offload away, but it was blocked off by one of the defenders racing up into the line. Plenty of numbers spread back to the middle. Here's Downey, another grubber put through. Nearly sits up for Russell. Goes through all of them, and it's well shepherded. Over the dead ball line in the end from Gowans. There was certainly pressure on him. He was hammered without the ball in the end from O'Bean. But they won't be able to get that one on that occasion. In fact, it might have been tapped dead. So at some point, someone has got a hand on that, one of the Woi Woi players. But I thought they nearly shepherded out successfully through Gowans. Good kick in the end, though, from Downey. And there's time for at least one more raid here. Four minutes left on the clock by my count. Six points to Neil. Woi Woi leading Aaron. They've gone short and they've done it very well and actually come up with possession. So not alert enough there at all, Aaron. Brilliant little play from the Woi Woi players there. They're all alert to it too. Race down. And that was a pre-orchestrated move. Here's Reed who carts it forward. So instead of defending another set of six, it's just tackle two. And they have 35 metres out. And now they get a penalty to compound the errors here for Aaron. A horrible little stint of 30 seconds for the Eagles. And then Hyde will drill it long. He smells blood in the water and he wants another try here for his side. 
Hi, right, taps, dummies, tries to go short side, puts on a dummy himself, nearly linked up with Forsett, he'll find his winger in said. That's brilliant from high. But they're going to say that he's gone into touch. Well, it looked to be a brilliant play from Chris Hyde. Found the sideline quickly with the boot. Ran up there, tapped it, went, put the foot down. A great little dummy. Another one to force it. And then he linked up with Walsh, who looked to have mined for going in to score. But sideline official ruling that he's put that foot on the touchline. So Erina dodge a bullet on that occasion. They missed receiving their own goal line dropout. And then immediately after gave away a penalty to push Woyoy upfield. And then it looked like it could have been a compilation of errors there. Almost resulting in conceding six points. They'll be able to work it away now from their own line. Approximately two minutes remaining in this one. They'll keep pushing forward here through Stephen. And he gets a pretty quick play of the ball. So Suarez darts out of dummy half, and here's O'Byrne. And O'Byrne keeps going. They put him on his back, though, so that's a dominant tackle. Shepard over the top. There was also Ryan around the legs initially. Suarez offers it away. It's another good hit up here. That's Munro. He worked it to the halfway line. Will they put on something fancy again here through Russell? He's got the ball. Kicks it nice and deep. Tries to find open pastures. Sits up on a point. And Walsh, he'll try and avoid the sideline, you'd have to think, on this occasion, having just been put into it. He goes very close once again. Here's Mate out of dummy half. He links it with a number 12. That's Finnegan. And Finnegan works it to about 35 metres out from his own line. Come back to the middle here. This is pretty much a first touch just about for Pearson. He hasn't had it in quite some time. It's almost catching it cold out here on the right-hand side for Woiwe. He's gone looking for the ball. Hyde. Flings it back toward the middle. That's a fresh man on the field, Jake Alaparte. And he's caught on the halfway line. Hyde goes out the back here to Gowans. Gowans turns it back on the inside of Ryan. Got out of one tackle. That was away from Russell. But Lawrence then contacted him and did pretty well just to hold him up while some reinforcements arrived. Last tackle. Hyde gives it away to Mate. A spiralling bomb that'll be difficult to take. There's not a great deal of communication either, and Sheens has spilled it. And they'll get one last chance here, Woi Woi, to put on some points. So they'll pack this scrum quickly. You can see players running toward it. That was always going to be a tough one to take, though. It was swirling around for Sheens. And it also looked like neither he nor Marsa knew who, which one of them was actually going to take it initially. They'll finally get their final player into the scrum. That's Fawcett. Locking in the centre. will be fed. Hyde picks it up. Can they put on another play? He's been very dangerous, Hyde. Went to Gowans, put an early kick in over the top of Drummond. Sits up, oh, nearly into the hands as well. Well, he got fingertips to it, but it just had an awkward bounce for him there, Pearson. He nearly found his first try of the day. And they were trying to catch this man out, Drummond, but he's picked it up himself. Of course, as such a big unit, he does take a bit of time to get going, but he is damaging once he gets the ball in hand. He picks up around 10 or 12 metres from that tap there. So that'll now be tackle one that you're seeing here because the seven tackles set, and they're all offside, so we still won't see that. They'll have to go pretty quickly on this one here. <laughs> A little bit of extra things in the referee's mic there. Russell not too happy about it and using some choice words. He found touch around 25 metres out from the opposition line, and they want to go very quickly here. Wara. Gives it to Russell. Up on the, mark. the referee being a little bit of pedantic on this occasion. Go. Telling Erina they've got a few more metres that they can squeeze forward. Russell gives it to Stephen. You can see him there barking instructions in the background as well. Sawaras so waits a dummy half. There's not too much time left on the clock. They've got to come up with something here. Slow play the ball from Stephen. They'll come to Russell. Russell has numbers in motion. He puts the dummy and tries to go through himself. Lawrence was caught in the crossfire. Now hold on to him once again here. Sawaris goes short side. A poor pass. Wara got out of one tackle nearly, but it was well done in the end there from Matt Jones to just hold on to him. Sheens waits a dummy half. Flings it back to the centre to Russell. Russell out the back to Munro. Munro goes straight and hard. That's the only way he knows. But it's a good tackle from Hyde, and I think it's also Reed over the top. Yes, it is. They'll play it here again. Sawaris away to Stephen. Stephen short pass onto O'Byrne. 
He nearly went all the way through. He's just caught around about a metre from the line, though. Very slow play, the ball. And I think they'll say that he's dropped it as well, and that will be half time. So there it was. That was the final opportunity for Erina, but they just couldn't get over that goal line. O'Byrne, so close to doing so. Probably an inch in the end. Put onto his back, and that's great defensive scramble shown from Woywoy to take a lead into half time here at Erina Oval. This is James Preston with you, and the score line is Woywoy 6. Aaron O'Neill will be back with more in just a moment's time. Wait, why don't you play blue song anymore? Because blue song's the junior. I don't actually see, but we normally get about 2,000 hits <coughs> per game.
too, though. I'm from. I haven't got much coffee up there. <laughs> You're getting a bit dry, aren't you? No, it's weird. I, I get lightheaded. I don't know why. Coffee. No. Need some more breathing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know the meaning of the word. <laughs> You've got to run out of oxygen, mate. You can't keep <laughs> a pheasant going. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, I can try diesel, but I don't know how well that will work in here. Breathe, breathe, through the <laughs> <laughs> breathe through the nose, isn't it? <laughs> <coughs> oh, that gun is gorgeous. Oh. It has a sling for everything. That's what I was just thinking. I was thinking, geez, you got pretty good working with you, mate. I was often thought about some sides on the tent when I think. It's the sun. Mm. Just be like flying in trees, it just yeah. as well. Nice and fresh. Yeah. You still need to go to uh, go to Canberra or do this or something. Oh, mate. Be, I was yeah. looking at these temperatures of that um, <laughs> game last night. Uh, Isn't it like three degrees? Uh, what's it saying? Um, Townsville. Bloody hell. Um, Cowboys. Bloody hell. They couldn't cope with the conditions. Mm. I can't make anything this year though for a <laughs> Oh no. Poor buggers. Oh. Thank you. Cheers. Normally, what I normally the way I look at it is, is that you're still forcing forward. So if you're forward, you're just shorting your own ten. It's only when you um start taking up the marker. So like, so like, so like, so like your one. Yeah, yeah. So for me, it looks like just like just where I'm standing, it looks like he's been taken out. That's why I have to go back. But if he, yeah, yeah. And welcome back to Erina Oval here for the second half of this match, the first grade competition here in the Central Coast Rugby League between Erina Eagles and, of course, also Woi Woi out there. If you're just tuning in, Erina in that dark blue strip with the white and red trim. And Woi Woi, they are leading six points to nil in the white with the red V. So very similar to St George there. Just quickly running through the point scorers in the first half. First and only try for either side. It was scored by Woiwoi's 5'8", Scott Gowans, and then converted by the captain and hooker, Chris Hyde. And it's probably fair to say that in that first half, Hyde caused plenty of damage. It's a real play to watch if you're just tuning in. James Preston here with you for Bar TV. And it is lovely conditions here. Barely a breeze in the air. Nice and sunny. And Woiwoi will get us back underway as Mark Russell takes that one and offers it away to O'Byrne. He was the last man to touch it in that first half, and he's picked up enormous meterage here. After contact, he's gone about 20 metres. That's a huge run, and Stephen tries to emulate it himself with the next one. In two plays, they've gone 40 metres, so it's a great start to this second half here. They need to be the first to score if they want to stay in it. They worked away through Munro. Munro put on a left foot step, came to the defensive line and tried to push through them once again. So three tackles, and they've travelled 55 metres. Suarez at a dummy half, comes away to Downey. Downey turns it back on the inside of Lawrence. It's a good shot put on Lawrence, though, by Alaparde. And also Reed. Now come back to the middle. Suarez away to Munro, who shifted from that left edge into playing back toward the middle in this occasion. And that'll be the last tackle, but they've gone a long way up the field here. So they'll get a chance to put in an attacking kick. But Downey simply likes to dribble it along the ground here. He's done plenty of that in the first half. Potentially like to see him put a couple more in the air and make it a contest, but it's well taken in the end from Marks. Number four playing at fullback. Walsh, good tackle put on him. The initial shot coming across from Munro was hard, and then Suarez finished him off. Back toward the middle. Good stepping at the line, too. It's a pretty decent run in the end. 
On the other winger ch chiming in for a bit of a run. Hyde comes back to Mate. Mate then offers it away. Picked up and slammed on his back in a good two-man tackle was Alapade. That was good stuff from O'Byrne and also the freshman on the field to start the second half, Kane Wynyard. Didn't see any action in the first stanza. He'll get a nice kick away too. And it bounces plenty of times before Sheens can finally pick it up and grab it. He'll look for a bit of a gap, can't get away. So in the end, that's a wonderful set from Woiwoi. They turned a pretty average one into a great one through an excellent chase. They're working away through Marson here now. Of course, they've got these big wingers, Erina. And they do start the sets off quite well for the Eagles. He plays the ball. Wara coming out of dummy half. Very dangerous player. Bit of a shimmy. Tried to put on a late step at the line too. Here's Suarez. Away to Lawrence. Stepping off the left and then running into his own player in the end there. It was McFadden he contacted. And he ran out of room on the halfway line. This comes away to Downey. And then Downey links up with Stephen. Who charges forward. Of course, they do have a good, strong prop rotation, the Eagles. They have plenty of work out of every one of those big boppers. So Juarez goes to the left-hand side. Russell tries to plug it deep down to the right, but it was well covered across there from Marks, who's been excellent in this match so far. Very safe at the back. That's O'Burn in the end, along with Winyard. So they've combined twice now for tackles in this second half. Here's O'Burn getting in there again, along with Suarez. And they'll put him to ground. It's a good tackle. Now have a bit of a dummy half run now. Very lively step in there as well from Woiwoi. So they're just working out of their own channel themselves. Come back to the middle of the field. Finally looking to get one of their bigger players involved. And he does get a nice offload away too to Hyde. Hyde nearly got away and it was O'Burn who came across. Put on a pretty good shot. And a dominant tackle in the end too. And he lets him know about it as well, O'Burn. Now work it away through Marks who links up with the number 10. That's Jake Shearer. He gets it into the opposition territory and gets an offload away. Hyde with a dummy, then throws it back on the inside. Marks nearly got all the way through. He's got good footwork too. Uses a bit of it, steps again, finds more open pastures, and eventually it's fullback on fullback as Sheens came to meet him. Here's Mate on the last, and all of a sudden they're in an attacking position. Puts a little grubber in behind Marson. It's going to be just too big, it looks like. They've got a touch on it, but it will go dead in goal. So... Pretty lucky in the end there, not for something to happen against the Mariner. Went nearly the length of the field. Good little grubber in behind as well. And they forced that big unit on the wing there, Marson, to turn and chase. Here's Wara taking the tap and working it away. That'll be zero tackle though. Shearer came over the top along with Alaparte. Sawaris works it off to O'Byrne. And he keeps coming up toward the middle of the field. That's tackle one, 35 metres out. Here's Lawrence. Coming in for some work and making a great fist of it too. He broke out of two tackles and kept going. Big meterage from Lawrence. Slow play the ball too. Lucky to get away with that in the end. Woi Woi. Russell links up with Wara. So this is just tackle three and they've gone around about 60 metres from the tap. Looking very good at this point in time. Wara will play it. So Juarez comes away to Russell. That strong right foot step. He found a bit of space. Went for the offload. Couldn't find the mark though. Eventually it's picked up by Wynyard and he just simply tries to keep going forward at this point in time. And eventually he's caught to ground. Still with a couple of plays up their sleeve. Comes away to Russell. Russell links up with his prop, Stephen. I thought they might have put on an attacking play, but they'll just go for a settler. And maybe we'll see something here on the last. Sawaris drifts across field. Links up with O'Byrne. O'Byrne is held just short of the line and he won't get there. A disappointing end to the set of six there from the Aaron Eagles. You would have thought that ball would have to go to either Mark Russell or Matt Downey to put on one final play and really test the defence of Woi Woi. Nonetheless, the Red V will come away with it here and there's a couple of players who are a bit tired after that big, big set of six. And it has been end-to-end -to, -end to start the second half as well. Both sides nearly going the length of the field in consecutive sets. Now play the ball centre of the field. Hyde works it away to Reed. Reed was met by Wynyard and he pushed him back, but O'Byrne got him around the legs and put him to ground. Fast play the ball too. Now keep attacking down that right-hand channel. It's Reese Ryan with the ball. Ryan, he plays it. Hyde will kick early. Look to be played at. Now kick it through. Very enterprising play. I think he may have knocked it on though. It would have been six again too. And Alapade has unfortunately come up with the error. Just a slight bubble in that one. But it was enough nonetheless. See a change of possession, but Hyde once again hopping in a dummy half, putting in the kick. It's worked a great effect so far in this match.
Just stay your face in that lane, and you're saying he's not a jockey. No, no, no. Just, keep, just keep the same story. On this occasion, he just couldn't quite get it in there. So Erin will get the feed just short of the halfway line. Still trailing by six points to nil. About five minutes gone in this second half. Well, no, no. So still plenty of time, and <laughs> despite no whistle, the referee, you might be able to hear him there in the audio. No, no, no. Go again. Just controlling things there, the ref. Now win the scrum on this occasion, work it away. And come back to the middle. And say they broke early and then went in there. So it was both the 7 and the 12. That were offside. That was Mate and Finnegan. So an easy passage upfield now for Aaron up. Russell points toward the sideline and finds it pretty well. Straight over the head of the touch judge. Myra will get the chance to tap and go here. And he ends up linking up with Russell, who then finds Stephen. Nice footwork late at the line there. Chris, Stepping go. back off the right foot. Milking, milking. He was caught, though. Hold him there. If you're going to hold on to him, let him get the marker. No, you're holding on to him. Play a ball. Well, it's a bizarre no, ruling for the referee, really. Either let it play on or penalise him. Nonetheless, he'll say, go back and play it once again. Anyway, here is Munro working Ten, it away. Four. Hold. He's caught Five, around the legs. Sawaris feigns to go left, then comes to the short right. And Downey is looking to link up with Sheens, but he arrived just too late. And in the end, he dummied and went himself. He's caught. Sawaris away now to Munro. Munro dummies and tries to go through. Was hide around the legs. Made a crucial tackle because there was a bit of space there. Sawaris waits a dummy half. Feigns to go short. Comes out to Russell. Russell links up with Winyard, and Winyard is put to ground. It was a strange position for Winyard to take up there, the big boy. That's a good little kick from Russell in behind, so they should be able to trap him on the in goal. And they're going to say that will be, I think, a high tackle. And back chat. So they've compounded the problem here. Silly stuff from Erina. Had him in the in goal, simply had to make the tackle and they would have got the ball back instead. Now to be defending this one with the set starting close to halfway. A huge turnaround. We've seen that a couple of times in this match from both sides. Ill discipline letting the other side off the hook. They'll tap and go. Here's Mate. Mate links up with Reed. Reed is hit by Winyard, Suarez, and Russell in the end. Coming over the top. Dominant tackle. Hyde. Works it away. I think that might be Shearer there coming in for a bit of work. And he's picked up and driven back. That's a good, strong tackle from Erina. And they've lost the ball. Wonderful stuff. They're pumped up in this second half, and you could tell. Trailing by just six. And they can get right back into it here. With a nice, good set. But you'd like to see a more attacking finish to the end of their set so far. They have not really asked many questions of the Woi Woi defensive line when they've been in those danger zones. It was great strong defence over the top. The two second rows combining both McFadden and Munro. The referee just giving an explanation as to why he's ruled as he did. Saying no strip. Not lost after the tackle. Lost in the motion of completing it. Now win the scrum. Work it away. And that is tackle one. A second effort there could have been. But the referee says milking. Sawaris then links up with O'Byrne. And O'Byrne a big fend in the face of Shearer who then grabs the nose. But... He comes again to finish off the job. You can see him there once again just checking it out. So that palm was caught flush in the middle of his face. Byrne links up with Stephen. Stephen is put to his back there in a dominant tackle. Sawaris away to Russell. Russell turns it back on the inside for a burn at Shearer who came back with a vengeance. He was palmed off in the previous one. He wanted a bit of... Revenge on him on that occasion. Sheens trying to use his pace and find a little gap, but it closed very quickly, so not even he could get through. Comes away to Russell. They'll rush up on him too. Could have been high. O'Byrne picks it up very close to the line, but he's just caught short. And they knew that ball was coming to Russell, and they jammed in on him, and there was nothing the halfback could do. Did well in the end to get a quick kick away, and Reed once again is involved in a confrontation. First half it was with Drummond. On this occasion, it's with O'Byrne. There will be a woi-woi ball. 
just short of their own yeah. try line. Play it. Hold, hold. Play. Now play this one and get back underway here. Good pressure put on him, and they'll try and drive him back into the in goal. Does well to stay in the field to play in the end. There were some big boppers who contacted him, including Stephen over the top. And they're drifting across sideways at the moment, not going forward. Once again, they'll try and push them back. It was McFadden that came in, along with Sawaris and Lawrence. They're all fired up. Here's Forsett. Jimmy Forsett tried to get away from them. That was close to a penalty. They're just towing the line at the moment here, Erina. But they've done pretty well to trap them deep in their own territory at this point in time. Hyde decides he needs to kick early. Sheens is back there, but it split the two defenders. A great kick in the end, and they'll keep going here. So the ball continues to kick on. And in the end, Marson picks it up just short of his own goal line. So once again, Chris Hyde kicking them out of trouble. He's had a big match, the hooker. And now you're just seeing a very slow retreat here from the Arena side, and that is a huge let off. So both sides have been guilty of this. Getting into good position and then gifting the opposition a way out. And they're very lucky there, Erina. There was a slow stream of their big boppers coming back. There's only about three or four actually behind the play the ball. Including the dummy half. So lucky to get away with it. And Wara will look to tap this and go. He gives it to Winyard. He tries to go over the top of Gowans. He had a bit of support as well from Matt Jones around the legs. Here's Russell. Russell. Dummy to burn. And then went to Stephen. There's a good tackle over the top from Reed. There's also Alapade who helped him. Just short of the halfway line. Wara stepped and grabbed it in the one motion. Then found a little bit of a gap. Tried to scissor through it. And cut them to shreds. They did well to scramble. Sawaras goes to Downey. Downey has numbers both sides. Great tackle. Chopped around the legs of Byrne. It was good contact from Shearer. Here's Downey. Downey holds it up for Sheens, but there's nothing doing on this right-hand side. The defence sticking very firm at the moment. They do have a pretty good defensive record too, this side. Here's Sawaris. Back to Downey. Downey once again putting it along the turf, but it's well picked up there on that far side from Jimmy Walsh. Too easy in the end. They've barely gone to the air in this match whatsoever, Erina. And they've given away another penalty. And I can't tell if this is just the referee being a little bit whistle-happy or both sides of just being very guilty at the moment. But we have had penalty upon penalty to start this second half. Neither side able to get the ascendancy. They just keep releasing the pressure valve on each other when they get into dangerous positions. The score is still six points to nil. In terms of time gone, we've had roughly 15 minutes in this second half. The score line is only six points to nil, though, so just the one try so far. That was scored through Scott Gowans, the 5'8 for Woiwoi, and converted by the hooker and captain Chris Hyde. He's been very dangerous in this game too, Hyde. He's the one who taps him, then throws a long pass across to Gowans, who then... Gives it away, and Sawaris, that does not look good for his wrist whatsoever. He's down on the ground and screaming at the moment. You fancy that might be it's either a wrist, elbow, or shoulder, definitely something around the arm area. He's clutching at it pretty hard. We do hope he's all right. They are lucky in the sense they already have burn on the field, so... So Iris has probably shifted into more of a lock four position at this point in time anyway. So they'll be covered in that hooking department. We've got a couple of big blokes on the bench anyway. So you never like to see an injury, but it is good when you do have appropriate backup for it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm 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 there saying hold, hold, go. Just wait for that go talk and you this one. This match, of course, coming to you live from Erina Oval here on the beautiful Central Coast. This is the Central Coast Rugby League first grade comp here. And in second grade, it was a win to Woi Woi. The score was 24 points to 8. And the last time these two sides met in first grade back in round 5. Of course, this is presently round 14. And that score was Woi Woi coming out the victors 24 points to 4. So they know they can get the job done, Woi Woi, and they're presently leading in this one. So they will back themselves here. 
Erina, they're certainly going to have to come up with just a little bit of something extra. Try and get themselves back into this one. Better end to the sets. A few more attacking plays. Sawaris, you can just see him there. He's still in quite a deal of pain. Train is attending to him, but it looks very doubtful that he will be back in this match. And they use the singlet to cradle the arm there as well, so not good signs for Jono Sawaris. He gets an ovation from the attendees here at Erin Oval. It's a pretty good crowd too. Members of the crowd scattered all the way around the ground. That's the beauty of these nice little suburban grounds here. No, that's where he was injured. The fable was a bit further up. Very sunny and there's always a good spot to take up no matter where you are. It's a slow walk back to the sideline for Jono Sawara. So we do hope he's all right. He's been very good for them this season. With any luck, it might just be a burner, but signs aren't fantastic from what we can see so far. And this will be a woi woi ball as well. And they've had a fresh man come back onto the field here. I think that might be Browning that's come on. Yes, it is Browning in the number 15. So he's back in the action. Shearer plays the ball. Now come to the left hand side. And we'll go again here with woi woi. And this time they work it away through Brody Finnegan. And he's caught on the ground. McFadden is ruled to roll away. And he applies to the referee and says, Sir, I am doing exactly that. And now this is Reed. Works it just over the halfway line. He's milking him in. And he'll come away through Hyde. Hyde dummies once. Goes out the back. Finds Gowans. Gowans tried to go deep. It was well read in the end there. And they stopped Marks before he could get a move on. Showed back toward the middle. And they'll go short side once again through Matt Jones who got away from them. Still going here is Pearson. There's a good late ball as well from Matt Jones and Pearson was stopped just short of the line. They're screaming for it on this left-hand sideline. They want the kick across. Mate's got the ball. He sees the call. Chips it toward the corner. Up above them, but they just can't get there. It was well defended in the end. I think that might be Marson back there. It is. Well done. Well, it's always a bit difficult to get up there when you are such a big unit, but he applied his... His weight and his height, and he did quite well. That looked to be high contact, but the referee says no. First contact was ball, then slipping up. And that's just all, all awkward from Aaron there. Burn knew a couple of them were offside, but then he didn't run at them. And instead, they all just pointed to the offside players. So play on it is. Here's Burrell working it away. 30 metres out from his own line. So in the end... Erina really haven't really gone anywhere in this set. Now, I need a big kick from Mark Russell. He applies that. It's not a bad one, but well positioned, Toby Marks. And in the end, he'll work it almost all the way back to the halfway line. In fact, he'll play it exactly on the halfway line. So, not a great set there whatsoever from Erina. And Woi Woi, the chance to apply more pressure. That's a big shot, too, from McFadden. Great hit from him. Good early contact, and Burrell came in too, and he's rocked from that too. Walsh, and they're really getting up at the moment. It was Byrne trying to put on a shot, but they've just gone a bit too much there. Browning is fresh on the field, and they don't need that error. Up. There's certainly some intent in this defensive line at the moment. Byrne rushing up to put on a shot. McFadden successful with one the previous tackle. And they need that kind of pressure to be applied on Woi Woi, but they can't let it tip over into conceding penalties. Here's Reed. First hit up off the tap, and he's dropped it straight away. So a good result for Erina here. They'll get a chance to work it out of their own territory. Approximately halfway through this second half, so not a great deal of time left in this one. Probably looking at around about 12 or 15 minutes. Of course, there is no clock in this match at the moment. Just having a look at the score, but the score is six points to nil. Woi Woi leading Erina, but we don't have a clock. So unfortunately, we are just approximating for you at this point in time. James Preston here with you on Bar TV, live from Erina Oval. It's the Erina Eagles taking on Woi Woi. Third v fifth. Woi Woi presently just above them on the ladder. It's only one point separating. So a win here. And they could leapfrog them, the Aaron Eagles. Here's Stephen working it away, and he's caught just short of the halfway line. Burn wants a quick play of the ball. 
and Burrell, he wants a hit up. And in the end, they both got what they wanted, but it doesn't really result in too much other than about seven or eight metres being picked up. Here's Lawrence, a very flat ball received from Byrne. Bounced off one of them, and another two defenders came to put him to ground. Here's Byrne, waiting at dummy half, came to Downey. Downey turns it back on the inside to McFadden. He was hit after he passed it to. There won't be a penalty forthcoming. McFadden looked offloaded, but he's caught in possession, and that will be the last tackle. And Messi, Messi played the ball, but Byrne got it away. Russell puts a little chip in behind them. They've got Drummond flying through, bounced off one of the Woi Woi defenders. That'll be playing knocked back. And they'll say, I think Drummond may have actually got a hand on this ball, plus there's a player left on the ground. Drummond, he came flying through. There was contact made with one of the Woi Woi players, and it's obviously rocked in the wrong way. But I didn't see him get a touch on it. To me, it seemed to be all Woi Woi and knocking it back. That should have been play on, but evidently the referee has suggested Drummond got up there, got a fingertip to it, and with no advantage, we'll come back to that spot where the initial contact was made and have a changeover. On the line. The time running out for the Erin Eagles. No, no Haven't been able to post any points in this one so far. It has been a real good contest, no, though. End-to-end oh, -end football God. at times and strong defence from both sides, particularly Woi Woi. Here's Saunters back onto the field. He hasn't seen much football in about the last 30 or 40 minutes at least. Had an early stint and a big break in between. Browning, he's already given away one penalty in the last set. He's got to be careful on this occasion. They'll turn it back on the inside once again and find Ryan. And he kept pushing forward and he's caught to ground now. Go back up the middle. Sonta once again. Trying to get rid of them. And it's Browning again looking to put a bit of a statement on say, you're not going to run over the top of me. Here's Hyde. Hyde gives it away to Gowans who decides to kick early. On this occasion, Sheens is well positioned. He gets the ball, takes it nicely. That looked to be high, but just... Around the shoulders in the end, the referee says. That'll be play on. 50-50 call, and it's gone the way of Woi Woi. Here is Drummond, who's obviously recovered from his previous attempt at catching the ball at the end of the last set. Byrne works it away to Lawrence. Lawrence travelling up that middle channel. Tried to get away from a good defending from Ryan, but Ryan came twice, put him to ground. His Burrell. Burrell showed it. Went. Still standing in the tackle, looking for an offload. They can't put him to ground, but he can't promote the ball either. Byrne comes short side. Downey. Dummy on the inside and then hit the line. That'll be the last tackle. 25 out. It's gone to Burrell. Do they know it's the last? The big prop decides to put on the toe. That's one of the better kicks they've actually had, though. They'll keep working away. They'll try and push him back into the in goal, but he's just short in the end. So once again, a less than desired finish to that set from Erina. And they need Russell to put his mark on this game and organise them better to finish these sets. That's a great shot, jamming underneath the ribcage from Browning. They'll push him all the way back, but he just survives being pushed into the end goal. Plenty of pressure being applied to Woi Woi. Russell tries to put on a shot himself, the halfback, but they've done well to work it away from their line. Picking up around 10 metres. Still under the pump at the moment, Woi Woi. But they'll come short side and they found a bit of a gap. Winyard is chasing. He won't have the pace himself. They'll put it on the toe. Gowan's running for it, as is Hyde. Gowan picks it up. He'll be caught around the back, but he gets it off right away to Forsett. Forsett finds a bit of space. He's caught. There's space all the way on this left-hand side. Walsh is screaming for it. Can they get the ball across early? It comes to Mate. Mate sums up the options. Finds Sonta. Sonta tries to go over the top of them. Probably not the man that needed the ball on that occasion. He's caught 10 metres out. And Erina, look at them. They're on their haunches. They're in disarray. They can't believe they had them jammed in on that short side. They've gone nearly the length of the field here. Shearer, he's told to play the ball. Hyde flicks it out the back to Sonta. Sonta tries to barrel over the top of them. Russell around the legs. A couple of other defenders too. And everybody you can see is just exhausted from this play. They'll keep shifting to the right-hand side. Hyde links up with Gowans. Just short of the line is Ryan. Ryan plays it. There was no marker at the time. Went at the top to Hyde. It tipped on. It went backwards and then landed in the hands of Drummond. 
and they'll survive on this occasion, Erin, but they are all down on their haunches. There's no one at the moment willing to take a hit up. So it'll be interesting to see if they can work it out of their own end and into a decent enough position to not have to face an onslaught once again. Here's Lawrence trying to get away from a couple of them. Does pretty well. He works at 25 metres out to his own line. Burns, short side, links up with McFadden. Fawcett meets him along with Sonta. And they've called knock on here. There was just a little bobble. And McFadden. He's been ruled to have knocked this one on, so pressure once again to come here on Erina. This game has been absolutely crazy at times, end to end from both sides. Don't let the scoreline fool you. There has been plenty of attack in this one. Woi Woi leading six points to nil. Not a great deal of time left in this match either. They've got the scrum feed here as well. It'll be Mate to feed it. 40 metres out. Does the one point come to the, end of the equation now? He might think field goal. Here's Gowans. And he's knocked it on straight away. So they tried to spread it. They'll put it on the toe and then pick it up. Smart play from Drummond. He gets the ball. 52 metres out. So they're on the attack. Tackle zero as well for that matter. Wara steps off the right foot. Beats Toby Marks. Finds a bit of space. Goes again. He's still pushing through them, Wara. A great run from him. Here's Byrne. Runs quickly. No Marcus. He's nearly gone all the way through them. He's caught inside the 10 metre area. Tackle number three. Now pushed back to the middle of the field. Russell looking for a runner. Finds it through O'Byrne. And O'Byrne keeps pushing into them. He's caught three or four metres out. Centre of the field. About two metres to the left inside the upright. That'll be a penalty. They get a whole other set of six here. So they just need to calm themselves. Recalibrate. And think where they want to launch this next attack. They'll go to the left hand side. Through. Russell stepped off his left foot. Cut back in toward the centre. And he was chopped down from Hyde. And that's another penalty. They've got to be very close to having a man march to the sin bin here. You have to think next one will go. They're trying to slow this play down. That's not quick. We're inside 10 metres. And Downey, you can see him, see him there just waving the hand, suggesting that they just need to focus here. Slow it down, think about what they want to do, where they want to launch the attack. They'll probably send a couple to the middle and then expect a shift on this right-hand side based on what we've seen out the back here through Downey, the 5 8 now play the ball. Burn finds Downey. He's been setting up a play. Goes deep to Sheen. Sheen's got around one of them. Leaked up with Marston, and there it is. Well, he called for it before Downey. He wanted the ball. He had a play set. That's where it was. Leaked up with Sheen's at pace. Took advantage of a defender that slipped, and then linked up with the winger Marston. And all of a sudden, it's a two-point ball game with a very important kick coming up. They have tried that sweep on a number of occasions and it just hasn't quite been timed well enough on this occasion, though. They got it 100% right. Sheen's hit them at pace. The previous one they went for about five or ten minutes ago. And Downey had looked for Sheen's and he was just trailing a little behind, so he took the dummy and went to the line himself. But Russell, this is a very, very important kick for him. He was pretty good last week. Kick four from six. Got a couple from difficult positions too, but it doesn't get much harder than this. He's only two metres in from the right-hand touchline. He's taking it approximately 25 metres back. And in the context of the game, with not much time remaining, four points to six at the moment, they are down there and are against Woi Woi. This is an enormous kick. No breeze to speak of. He does have a reasonable amount of distance in the legs as well. Russell, to tie this up, sets himself, strikes it pretty well, holding its line, and it's good. In fact, they've overruled it. They've said no. So we had one flag go up, another one went down, and then referee ruling that it is not good. So a bit of confusion there. And he has ruled that that has been missed. So we had one flag go up, one flag go down. Referee in the end suggesting it did not go over. And you can just hear in the referee's audio as well saying it was close. 
initially looked like it went over, but no. So very confusing there all around. One flag up, one flag down. Looked to be good, but the score remains at four points to six. Erin is still trailing here, and O'Byrne, who's had a massive second half, he's trying to lift his side. Can they get one more try and put themselves in front? Here's Burrell. Hyde over the top, a dominant tackle. McDermott fell off. Burn waits. Gives it away to Lawrence. Lawrence was certainly questioning the decision himself. But he has a chance to put this one beyond any questions. If they can score again, they will take the lead with not much time left. Here's McFadden looking to get an arm away. But they'll put him to ground. Slow play the ball. Plenty of pressure over the top. Lucky not to be penalised was Finnegan. Here's Downey working away to Burrell. Late in the set here as well and late in this match. That is the last tackle. They'll need to put on some sort of play. Comes to Downey. He's got numbers in motion. Puts the chip on it. It won't sit up for him quite well. And in the end, it looks like he may have knocked it. They're going to say he's held it, though. I could have sworn I saw a bobble, but it's play on for the moment. So the rub of the green, not fancying Erinner at the moment. Now keep working away here through Jimmy Walsh. Four set. Comes out of dummy half. Byrne tries to put on a shot. Didn't connect quite well enough. They need to get this ball back. Here's Hyde. Working it away to Finnegan. Finnegan puts on a fen. And he meets both Downey and Browning. Here's Mate. Works it away to Sonta. Sonta got out of one tackle. Keeps going. A good run from the big boffer. That'll be the last. And they've done well to get this far down the field. Mate needed a good kick and to find the sideline. He does both. So that'll take up a bit more precious time. And we'll see with pretty much only a set or two left in this one what Erina can conjure up. And they want to be packing this scrum pretty quickly too. There's not a great deal of time left in this match. And they still haven't put the clock off. A real lack of urgency at the moment. But Downey will feed this one. So there we go. We are ready to go once again. Comes away from Byrne. Byrne finds Marson, the try scorer for them so far. And he works it over the 30-metre line. Plenty of pressure on him. Toby Marks was one of them. Ryan was another defender. They'll come left-hand side through Russell. Russell linked up with Wynyard. And Wynyard is caught just short of the 40-metre line. What can they bring up here? Close to the end of this match. Wara away to Russell. Russell to O'Byrne. And O'Byrne keeps going. Another good run from him. He's picked up a stack in this second half. Just short of the halfway line. Tackle three. Here's Byrne. Feigns to go to down. He went to Russell and he had numbers with him, but he just couldn't get the ball away. It was a good tackle in the end over the top from McGillicuddy. Now work it back to the centre of the field. Burrell. He'll be looking to get the arm free once again, but it's wrapped up nicely from Sonta. Last tackle. Will they go once again for a chip? Something special here from Downey. He does put the little chip just in behind them. Sheens is chasing. Sits up on a point. He's pushed off the ball initially. That'll be play on, and it goes all the way back to Sonta. Shoulder to shoulder. It was ruled to be play on. Sheens couldn't get it. They tapped it back, and Sonta, who was sauntering back, simply dived on it. Shearer gets the ball here. He'll play it. Marks. Looked to be potentially around the neck. Referee said shoulder. In fact, it was Pearson. He'll play the ball. Tackle two. Good run from Ryan. Straight and hard. Trying to promote the ball off the field and get it as far away from their own danger zone as they can. Hide a long ball across. Now it's with Finnegan. Finnegan puts the both offend on both Lawrence and Downey and picks up about five or six metres post contact. Valuable metres too. Here's Hyde. Away. And they put up a big spiral bomb in the end. That'll be difficult for Sheens, but he takes it nicely. Got a bit of room to move and he can work up some speed too. But it's a great tackle around the legs in the end. And that was Reese Ryan. They'll work it away. Marson came in and he was hammered from Marks. And over the top as well, McDermott. Burnt. Works it through Wara. So they're getting pretty good metres to start this set. They've gone 25 in three plays. Now is the time to launch an attack, though. Here's Burn away through O'Burn now. So it's Burn to O'Burn. He works out over the halfway line. Burn back to the middle of the field. Waro for his second run in this set. Steps off the right foot. Found half a gap but couldn't keep going. Last tackle here. Once again, they need to come up with something. They'll go to Russell. Russell links up with Downey. 
Downey decides to send it nice and high on this occasion. Marson, can he get above them? He does take it. In fact, now it's stripped out of his hands in the air. They'll keep going away through Walsh. Walsh nearly loses it one-on-one, -on -one, but he's just able to get the ground. A great play in the end from Jimmy Walsh. Shown from Fawcett, and then he drifts across field, links up with another runner. That's Pearson, who's a very lively customer. He's been left on the floor as well, Fawcett. He thought he was hit late, but Pearson picked up 20 metres. So they won't be too concerned about that. Woi Woi, keep going away with it. Shearer, lifted up and turned around and then put back on ground. Comes away to Mate. Mate at the Sonta. Puts it out the back. Finnegan looks to link up. Finds Forset. Bit of space. Stepped off the right foot, but was just felled. A nice little flick pass off the ground. Here's Mate. Mate's found the gap. He'll put the afterburners on. He scores it. He seals the game. Wins the match for Erina. Not for Erina, should I say. For Woi Woi. And Erina are distraught. Not much time in this one. Mate found a gap, put on the afterburners. And you can thank a great little flick pass off the deck from Forset for that one. Still an important kick, though. There's not a great deal of time, but this one, well, if they get it, it'll put this result beyond doubt. Very little time left in this match. It's two very important plays in that set, though, from Forset. Early on, drifting across field, linking up with Pearson, who then went 20 metres. He found a nice gap for him. And off the back of that play, had a retreating defensive line. That meant they could continue to promote the football all the way across field. Found its way back into the hands of Forsett once again. Half a break. Not held. Off the ground, flicked it up. Straight in the hands of Mate, and he did the rest. It's great stuff from the halfback. So they've scored through both of their halves now. Gowans and Blake Mate. And Hyde will take his time with this kick. He's done a wonderful job too, Chris Hyde. Pretty much the best player on the ground for mine. Hasn't had a break yet either. And this one is an important kick. they would take it to beyond a converted try. And that would do it here for the Woi Woi side. And they will consolidate third position. And Erina, well, they could drop quite significantly based on other results today. But, of course, it's all happening at the same time, so we won't know just how far that drop could be. Here is Chris Hyde. Five metres to the right-hand side of the uprights. Twelve metres back. Going through his routine. And a kick put two points on the board and give them the two points you'd have to think. Here is Hyde. Drills it nicely. And that is 12 points to four. So this one looks to be out of reach for Erina now. Quick time check at least by my watch. Well, we're pretty much on full time here. We're past the four o'clock mark. So there really can't be much, if any time, left in this one. Maybe enough for one set. And it will go backwards and find its way into the hands of Toby Marks. And that will be a penalty. A bit of extra attention on the ground there. Frustration coming out for Erina. And Woi Woi will get a penalty. There won't be anything flashy in this that you'd have to think. They'll simply kick for touch. Continue to tuck it up under the arm. Not even offer the slightest sniff for the Erin Eagles. It's been a quality match as well, end-to-end -end stuff. Despite the low scoreline, we've seen plenty of good footy. And Chris Hyde will tap. Misses out Sonta. A great dummy, and he's all the way through. Brilliant stuff. McGilla Cuddy hasn't had much time on the field. That may well have even been just his second touch, and he's gone all the way through. A big dummy. Hyde goes short side to Sonta. Tackle around the top, but it was ruled to be on the shoulders. He's still working forward here, Sonta. He's hard to put the ground. Hyde, out of dummy half. Links up with McGillicuddy. Here's Mate. Mate gives it to Shearer. Shearer off the left foot, puts out the left arm, and tries to fend away. Center of the ground. In a decent position too. Chance to put on more points here and add insult to injury. Here's Hyde. 
Away to Mate. Mate dummies once, goes again. He's already Hi, scored. Just a little time ago. Chris Hyde with a fancy flick pass. Away to Shearer. Let him go that was Benji Marshall style. And he's caught around about 10 metres no, out here. Shearer gives it to Hyde. At the play, the ball, who finds oh, Reed? Nice little late offload away to Hyde. He'll link up with Ryan. Ryan goes all the way through, and there it is again. So they've worked really hard to get across the line here. Boy, boy, and in the end, they'll end up with two second half tries. There's a bit of push and shove as well. And ultimately, you'd have to say that just comes down to a bit of frustration for Erina. They were well in this match. Just in the last couple of minutes, they've leaked 10 points, potentially 12 now. 12 points to four. And that try scorer was Reese Ryan. Once again, dangerous stuff out of dummy half from Chris Side. Drifting across field. Numbers running in motion. It was all about finding the right one. He did exactly that. Reese Ryan hit a great hole. Running a beautiful line too, inside out. And turned the defence inside out for that matter. So Hyde will have this shot from roughly three or four metres in from touch. Around about 25 metres back. Difficult kick, roughly the same position as Mark Russell's attempt earlier, which... Had a bit of controversy about it. We had one flag up, one flag down. In the end, ruled to have just missed, as we heard in the referee's audio. But here is Hyde. Setting up once again. He has been perfect so far with the boot. Two from two. But he hasn't had a kick quite as difficult as this today so far. To push this one out. To a 14-point ball game. And make it 18 points to four. Here's Hyde. Strikes it pretty well. Has the height, has the length, and has the accuracy. 18 points to four. That's three from three for Chris Hyde. That one's so short. Really tough. Go long. And will Erina go short once again here? And they're looking a little bit dejected at the moment. They were certainly in this game up until about five minutes ago. I think it's fair to say 18 points to four. Probably not a fair representation of what we've seen. Has been quite even. Potentially 12 points to four. A little closer, but all credit due to Woi Woi. You can hear the siren there, so that will literally be the end of the game. In the background, they're looking to put a big shot on him. There it is, too. They'll all jam in. Looking to finish this one off in a big way, but it won't matter even if they put a huge shot on because the victors at the end of the day are Woi Woi. 18 points to four. A well-earned victory, a hard-fought one too. End-to-end -end at times, big contact, and a quality match all round. The try scorers for Woi Woi, victorious in this one. The first one started through the 5-8. Scott Gowans was then followed up. A brilliant team effort, capped off by Blake Matte, the halfback. He got the second try, and then it was all wrapped up quite nicely, quite nicely by Reese Ryan. That was their third and final try. All conversion successful from Chris Hyde. Three from three. And for Erina, they got on the board. Run them out two-thirds of the way through the second half. Through Dane Marson. Nice little shift onto that right-hand side. Downey linking up with Sheens. The conversion was ruled to be unsuccessful from Mark Russell. And that is how we arrived at our score here. 18 points to four. A win for Woi Woi and coach Mark Forsett. Now look to continue further up the ladder here. Third position. From Erin Oval, this is James Preston for Bar TV. Hope you enjoyed the footy and we'll catch you next time. Here it is. Thanks, man. Lovely.